right, we got uh, Luann De La Seps from The Ultimate Girls Trip. We got The Countess Cabaret is on at uh, Feinstein, 54, 54, 54, 54 Below. 54 Below, April 17th, 17th through the 30th. 30th. You can see Margaret on The Real Housewives of New Jersey, Tuesdays at 8 <laughs> on Bravo. And we've got Evan Ross Katz. Evan Cook. Yeah! A Slayer is Born, how, how Buffy Staked Our Hearts. It's out now. Um, do you have any questions for either of these two? I mean, you're such a housewife. Yeah, I do. Lou, I would love to know if there's any songs, maybe covers in your future, or songs that oh. you're just dying to bring back to life. Um, well, I'm actually doing Cold Heart in my new show. Wow. I love that song. Yeah. And um, so I, I do some covers, and so this show is all new, and so I'm going to surprise a lot of people. Can't wait. Very good. Yeah. Uh, let, we, by the way, we were just playing that clip of the season one Roni reunion, and I was oh, watching yeah. it. <coughs> Remember when Ramona walked off? Yes. What was She was the first walk-off in right. Housewives, Housewives history. <laughs> yes. And I, I mean, when when she left, I was like, what are you doing? I like, know, right? Wasn't like, it so I odd? Know, I know. It was it, so weird. It was so shocking yes. then. Oh, my God, how scandalous. You were sitting there now. at the Russian tea room. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, now it's like common day. Yeah. Let's go back yeah. to our virtual fans. Caitlin and Kelly from New Jersey, what's your question for Luann? Hi, Luann. Hi. We were wondering, did you give either Dorinda or Jill Zarin any advice before their season of Girls Trip? And have either of them spilled the tea on what went down at Bluestone Manor? Good question. <laughs> Well, uh, Jill called me, and of course Jill called, and I said, Jill, just do do you like you do Jill Zarin, and don't you know worry about it. Just go in there with no expectations, have fun, enjoy yourself, um, and you know Dorinda, you know she's great at being a hostess. And um, do I know what's happened at Bluestone Manor? I heard there's a lot of drama. A lot. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Very different from your girls' trip, let right. me say that. Really? It is like wall-to-wall -wall <laughs> drama. Oh. Yes. Yeah, because, you know... This group was my twisted fantasy. Right? This, this oh. one. Right. It really uh -huh. was. Yes. Did you put those that group together? Kind of. <laughs> uh, well, no wonder why it was your twisted fantasy. Um, here's Kristen and Grace from Fort Worth with Hello. a question for Margaret. Hi. Hey, that was so good. So do you. Um, thank you. So, thank you. So um, we want to know, Margaret, um, three things that you admire about Louie and Teresa's relationship. Um, three things I admire about Louie and Teresa's relationship. They're committed. They're very committed to yep. each other, which is very impressive. They're extremely, uh, I do believe that they really, really love each other. They're yes. very, they're very lovey-dovey. They really love each other. And I will say something, they'll go, they'll go down in the ship together. I mean, if you want to be in a sinking boat together, they're the ones to have with each other because the truth is, They'll, you know, defend each other to the end, which is very impressive. Yeah. And, you they know? Make, and they make a beautiful couple. And they make a beautiful yes. couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's four things. Yeah. Yes. They really love each other. No, they really, I mean, they love, I mean, they love each other. I mean, yes. ooh, I, I've never yes. seen anything like it. I mean, I thought I loved Joe, but I mean, Jesus. <laughs> but, <laughs> I mean, the one from Joe is here. Joe. Joe, it's great to see you. And it, I got to tell you something. Let me ask you this, Joe. Sure. Um, I watched the guys get together, yes. and it is the level of alcohol that you guys drink together <laughs> is so absurd. It is. It makes me wonder, like, are you, do you typically drink that much? Like, are, are, do you feel peer pressure when you're with those guys? I don't or... feel pre peer pressure ever except for when I'm with Joe Gorga. Right. <laughs> that boy drinks more than anyone I've ever <laughs> met so in my life, and he is Mr. Here. Shots. No. Yes. Uh, so... Shots. The other night, when they portrayed me in bed with a hangover, I, my brain was exploding. Yes. Wow. Because I it's unbelievable. Yes. Yeah, that's awful. Um, Luann, Dove <laughs> N said, since you're so close with Marisol Patton, did she ever call you up to complain about the other Miami Housewives while filming last season? No, actually, she didn't. Uh, she no, loved Mary's... her role as a friend, actually. Yeah, she loved, loved being Marisol. a friend. She... Right, yeah, but I think that she was very involved, I think. You yes, know, very involved. I had a season as a friend, and I was in every episode. So, I mean, you know. So was she. <clears throat> right, that's yes. what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying so. she actually mm -hmm. thought, she found it freeing, she told right. me at the reunion. Oh, okay. That it was, she, right. she just found it freeing. Right. But um, I asked her, because she's friends with so many housewives. Yeah, with, I'm friends yeah. with Marisol. Yeah. Yeah. Also. Yeah. No, she's yeah, friends with so many housewives, but she said her best friend of all the housewives is you. Aw, that's sweet. I love Mary Soul. She's a great girl. You know, and 
actually, I met her when they first started. Yeah. Right? And so I, I went down to Miami and we got together with Alexia. Yeah. And we just stayed friends. Yeah. And, you know, she's Alexia's a good girl. great. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I love those girls. They're a lot of fun. Yeah. How's the and Frosé the, going? The Frosé is going very well. I just, yeah. I just got distribution. So I'm really That's great. happy. It's Amazing. such a good idea. Isn't it? Because you're so associated with. Rose, right, and then you make a pivot in your life, right? And to do that, I just think it's such you a know, good idea. I, I did it because there was nothing on the market that I liked, right? You know, Victoria wasn't drinking at the time, I wasn't drinking during the pandemic, thank God, because I would have been drinking a lot, right? <laughs> I could tell yes. you that, yeah. And I think a lot of people were drinking a lot, yes. Anyway, we couldn't find anything, and that's why I made the Fosé. And it's you know, what's great about it is it's not wine that the they take the alcohol out of, it's made from the ground up with, you know, beautiful ingredients, yeah. you know, vanilla extract and, you know, taste. natural tannins and oak. Yeah. So it actually mimics the taste of wine. Yes. And it looks exactly like wine. So you yes. can put this next to any bottle of wine and then the bottle's beautiful. Yeah. And it's low calorie and it's delicious. So I'm really happy and I'm glad that you really like it. You did a beautiful post for me. Thank yes, you. Yes, I Aww. did. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> Um, all right, you ready for our reunion? We're doing it in a week. Yes, oh my I'm God. ready. I'm ready. The, just oh with my the God. dress Can truck. I come? Yeah, we're going to yeah. go. I think it's going to be oh very God. heated and spicy. I mean, there could be a walk off. I mean, uh, we don't know. Uh, a walk off? A, a hop out. Minimum. There may be a, a, a hop out. We're going to have security. Maybe a there. Oh, you yeah, have to. I mean, we honestly, have to have security. Yes, no, exactly. <laughs> all right, um, Evan, any final words from you? Um, no, just and just like that, season two. I'm there still you go. All right. And just like that, that's it. Keep clicking around. On BravoTV.com. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.